All right, Cody, today is Relevant News Tuesday. Today I'm going to be talking about a couple things that are relevant in the news today. So here we go. Number one, so it's recently been reported that Fred Phelps, the creator of Westboro Baptist Church, yay, WBC! Uh, Fred Phelps, the creator of the Westboro Baptist Church based in Topeka, Kansas, has been com excommunicated from his church for reportedly trying to establish a kinder way of going about things. Yes, this from the creator of Westboro Baptist Church. Nate Phelps, who was excommunicated in the early to late 80s, he has said that his father, his estranged father, has been excommunicated for wanting to go about things in a more kinder way. This coming from Nate Phelps, who was excommunicated in the late 80s from the church, and is now a speaker, a passionate speaker, um, an LGBT rights activist, and a so-titled atheist. Yes, this is the son of Fred Phelps, the creator of Westboro Baptist Church. Also come out that Mr. Phelps, or uh, that's what I'm going to call him, Mr. Phelps, because I have respect for people unlike he does, is on his deathbed, so to say. Uh, he's declining in health, and therefore he has been reportedly on the edge of death. Therefore, a lot of people in recent days have talked about picketing his funeral to give back what he gave to us, or what he gave to others in his long standing with the Westboro Baptist Church. How hypocritical does that sound? Right? Right? Like the Facebook post that you posted the other day talking about how instead of wanting to picket Fred Phelps's funeral, we should forgive him. We should stop by his hospital bed or his extensive care bed, wherever he, he may be, with signs saying, we forgive you, showing that we are better people, that we are not hypocrites, and that we won't stoop down to their level. That's what I feel that we should all do. We've all had some sort of experience with this Westboro Baptist Church in one way or another. If you're politically inclined or um, militarily inclined, you've had some sort of run-in with Westboro Baptist Church. So, I believe in the long run that we should forgive Mr. Phelps and in turn shows us in the long run that we are a better people, that we can overcome bigotry, discrimination, and religious zealotness. So, yeah. Number two, a couple uh, news tidbits are going to be just uh, name out the title and my reaction, so to say, to them. So, it's also recently been reported, or the question has been asked, do cross-dressing dads make better fathers? What? 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 No! Las Vegas man with a reportedly 132-pound scrotum has died at age 49. How? How? I can get that you have medical problems, but how does one get a 132-pound scrotum? How do you live with that? How does that happen? Ow. Oh. Today's news is really boring. Uh, I would have talked about Ukraine, but I thought that would have bored you. Or I could have talked about the Malaysian airline that's disappeared, just up and pulled on Amelia Earhart out of nowhere with uh, 2014 technology, but that would have been over your head. Um, Anything else that I saw was kind of boring, random, stupid, not interesting. So, yes, that is Relevant News Tuesday. In response to your last video about movies, Boonock Saints is an amazing movie! Longest time, I had never seen this movie, and we had to get this movie on DVD so I could watch it. When we finally got it, I watched it, I was like, oh my god, this is an amazing movie! It's got amazing characters, it's got an amazing story, and it's about Irish people. I do disagree with your, um, I guess you say your opinion on the sequel to the movie. I thought 
All Saints Day was pretty good too. Not as good as the first, but it was it was alright. It was better than you're alright, so to say, okay? The cat explode or shooting a cat and making it explode is probably in this movie, the, one of the only times you can actually laugh at a cat exploding after getting shot. I mean, where else can you do that and not be morbidly stupid? That is Random News Tuesday. That's all I got for you today. Cody, I will see you tomorrow.